Vent, I guess. Um, I was supposed to cut. I after I stripped my hair, I was supposed to, you know, later on after a couple weeks, and I had gone and did some condition treatments and all that kind of stuff to my hair. I was gonna go back and like even out the color. And I'm sorry, this baby is down here tearing up her. Book bag. Baby. What are you doing? Anyway, I was supposed to um even my hair out. It was really light and all I wanted to do was even it out because the roots were were super light and then it got darker as it went to the end. So all I wanted to do was even it out a little bit, maybe do a very, very light, light brown. So I had a color in mind that I was going to do. I went to the professional store like I normally do to get my color. Um, I use the ISO color line. And I... Uh, the lady at the store or whatever, she was... These are professional um, people at the store. It's not like Sally's or anything like that. It's a professional store. You have to have a license to go in there. I think you have to have a license to work there, but whatever. Um, she convinced me because this top section, since it was red and it was a little bit darker, she convinced she convinced me to instead of going with the lighter color that was in the back, go with the the little bit. You know, it was like a strawberry blonde in the top. That was fine, and I was gonna do that all over, which would have been really pretty. It wasn't too dark, it wasn't too light, and um, would have been a little bit easier with growing out my hair, you know, with the roots and the contrast, all that kind of stuff. So I buy the color that matches, and now I'm sitting here and I'm thinking, okay, lady, shouldn't I go a little bit lighter, because, since I'm just going to deposit color on top of what I have, because it's going to darken it, shouldn't I go with a little bit lighter color? couple shades lighter no 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 it'll be fine trust me this that and the other whatever whatever needless to say I was pretty ticked off when my hair turned to this okay this part is not my hair of course these are my little clip-in tracks but this is not at all first of all I told her I didn't want a lot of red in the hair I did all this work to get the red out this is red. It's it, and it's not like it's a bad color when it's actually curled and all that kind of stuff. I didn't do anything to it today. I took my scarf off and tucked it behind my ears because I'm getting ready to go and I'm gonna do some highlight heavy highlights in the top in order to break up this color because it it is. I was so upset. I was almost in tears. I was so mad at this lady. I was ready to go fight, but I was. And I guess it's my fault for listening. So, my point is, when you go to get your hair done, though we are professionals, if you have something specific in mind that you want and they are trying to get you to do something totally different, stop, <laughs> wait, maybe see somebody else, think about it, and go back, something like that. Always do a consultation first before you actually go in. I did my own hair. I just listened to somebody else and ended up unhappy. But if you're going out and you're going to pay somebody to do your hair, or even if you're going to do your hair yourself, make sure that you do enough research and all that kind of stuff because everybody makes mistakes. Sometimes you can be convinced to do something that you're not going to be happy with, and that is horrible. In my case, it's okay because I can just fix it myself. But if I had paid somebody $100 to do my hair, to color my hair, I would be very, very angry. 
luckily I just paid for the, you know, the little two boxes of color. And now I could just go in and I think I'm going to do um, just some heavy, heavy highlights in the, in this section. Um, kind of like Olivia from Love and Hip Hop. I had to find something that was going to inspire me that I really liked the hair in order to not go over there and go off on this lady. So she wanted me to go and tell her, to show her what happened and all that kind of stuff or how it came out. So I'm going to go and I'm going to show her. I'm sure that I got an attitude and I'm upset. So upset. Anyway, well, I will come back and I'll show you guys the results um tonight because i'm gonna go do it now before i go to work see you later bye so okay part two i sectioned off a bigger section because i wanted more um color and less of the dark so all i did was i pulled everything back in a ponytail that i didn't want to do and i sectioned off from right here all the way around like from temple to temple and I'm so glad to have something light in there and I just did big like a weaving technique um, so I had big um, sections I didn't want it to be uniform or anything like that and I've got so I've got some lighter pieces and it's just kind of mixed up there but at least I have some color now some light color so I've got conditioner in right now and I just wanted you guys to see what I had did so far so it goes all and I didn't do it starting you know completely at the root like I never do especially with bleach and I'm gonna go and um, let it sit for a couple minutes and then finish my hair but I'm happy got a little color I may do it again later and lighten it more um, for the summer or something I don't know I'm just glad it's not dark all over anymore that was driving me crazy I have some lightness but it's not too light okay I'll be back. Okay. Um, I wanted to show you my hair color. Um, I'm very pleased. I'm very relieved to have gotten rid of because at first, because you guys didn't really see all of my hair with the darkness that it was. This is what it was all over. This dark color. And the whole point of all the work that I did to my hair over the last couple of months and taking my time doing so, so it would be healthy, was to get rid of the dark hair, to get rid of the red. So after listening to that lady and ending up with my hair this color, I was mortified. I was really upset. But I'm okay. I'm okay. And I think I actually like this concept better than um, having it light all over. It, I couldn't do this. I couldn't do this dark the dark hair anymore. Um, I was just really tired of it. I wanted something that was gonna kind of brighten my my face up a little more. I didn't want the dark hair. It wasn't anything wrong with it. I just personally was tired of it. And I typically don't have dark hair for very long. So, this is it. These are my highlights. I am so happy. <laughs> it still feels fine. It feels healthy. I actually trimmed my ends today as well. And I only had to take off about... Mm, literally let's see put something so you can see that much <laughs> on my ends it wasn't an inch maybe maybe half an inch 
throughout my hair. So, and I haven't clipped my ends in a long time, but it feels a lot softer. And it was time. I mean, you could you could tell a little bit, but it, it feels better since I did so. I haven't curled it or anything. It's just I had wrapped it when I straightened it. And um, so this is it. Now I can't wait. I'm going to enjoy the straight hair for a little bit. So I won't have to, um, because I'm not going to, because of course I'll be going back to my natural styles, my protective styles, but I can't wait to see my color with my curls. So I just want to show you guys the ending results and I will have pictures from right after I did it coming up in a second. See you guys later. Bye.